everyone. How are you? Sorry, I'm late. Um, I came home from work and he shared with me this awesome fucking website. Um, it's called, what is it called? What is it called? It's called Erie Canal Mapping Project.com. And apparently like a couple of dudes or whatever, they have mapped like all the spots of the original Erie Canal from 1825 and then the newer canal in 1862 and then the bar canal. And they also put in the drop pins or whatever for all the locks, all the guard locks, the junction locks, white aqueducts, culverts, the dry dock. I mean, everything. And this is so cool. Like, I can't wait for us to go and visit like these these places because like we've been doing the local locks and everything on the canal. Um, and a there's like one um dry dock or whatever we visit here and there. And like that's really cool, especially like the lock in Little Falls, New York, because like that's the single biggest lock in the entire canal. And it's like a 40 foot drop and the water's crazy. It's huge. And like they even show like the original canal, like part of it there. So, but like, I didn't realize just how much stuff was still up and standing from the, the original canal, like within 10 miles from us. That's insane. So I'm so psyched. As soon as the stream, ah, as soon as the stream is over, I'm going to go check that out. <laughs> so how is everyone? Who do we got here? All right. Hey, Reagan. Hey, Steve. What's up? Yes, I'm on vacation for one more day, but I'm not at camp anymore. I'm home now. Hey, Megan. Hi, Lily. Hi, me, myself, and Mandy. Heather, Tracy, love, Beth, Sally Godfrey. What's up? All right, I got to fix my makeup because I just seen how shiny my face is and I don't like it. So, one second. All right, it's a little better. So, First, let me read with to you. Um, oh wait, shit! No, I gotta sign it up. So wait, let me. Oh, I should be able to do this. Yay! I remembered the sign info. Oh my God, like this is such a good day. Okay. <laughs> so Katie Joy put a post up. Um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, yesterday. Let me share this with you all. Okay, so she shared it yesterday at 12, 12 p.m. Wait a minute, let me put a set up to look like. No, it's not what I want. There we go. We'll do that. <coughs> okay, so she says... My nose, I'm sitting outside. Huey Farms has been forced to the dark web after both Cloud Fair and DDoSGAR dropped the website. The website, <laughs> she's an idiot. Okay. The website has been linked to violent threats, stalking, harassment, white supremacy, fascist doxing, and the suicides of at least three people they targeted on their boards. The board specifically targeted the LG. Okay, go on. However, the forum held no bounds at who they would deem a low cow. <laughs> She was deemed a low-cow after quite some time. The administrator was formerly an administrator of 8chan and spent months in the Manila trying to in the, trying to rebuild 8chan. 8chan, a website that hosted... Okay, I, don't, I don't know about all that. Kiwi Farms allowed extreme free speech that was abusive, disturbing, and dangerous. It was, it was not moderated. That's for damn sure. <laughs> like, there was no one moderating the fucking site. The site specifically targeted transgendered internet streamers, which they would falsely accuse of pedophilia. They would specifically target lull cows. Maybe, I mean, don't get me wrong. This, it was wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. It was bullshit, and it was wrong for them to target anyone. Um, but it was primarily lull cows. Joshua Moon, Joshua Moon also started a website called 16chan, which allowed for, I don't know what all that, I've never been in 16chan. 
Moon claimed to fight against whatever. Uh, Kiwi Farms has been removed from service in the past for hosting CP, a claim that Moon denied. For years, the members of the farm have been harassing well-known transgendered streamers. One streamer started an online moon movement to ban Kiwi Farms after the site began targeting her. Users on the site harassed Docs and Stockton and threatened her life. They falsely accused her of being... Okay. Though her large... Through her large platform on Twitter and movement, drop Kiwi Farms apply pressure to Cloudfair that hosts the security for Kiwi Farms to drop the site. Cloudfair dropped Kiwi Farms after they said the board's rhetoric had become so violent and dangerous that there was an imminent and emergent threat to human life. The site flipped to DDoS Guard, a Russian company, but they dropped Kiwi Farms overnight. The site is now solely in the dark web, which is not true. The site had moved to Vanwa Tech. Um, it has a different domain. Um, but that for some reason that didn't come up. It, but it doesn't come up as like error or whatever, like website drop. It just comes up as like servers not answering or responding. So I'm not sure what that means exactly. So, um, yeah, so there's all that. Um, yeah, I left a comment. <laughs> Um, oh, someone commented it. I was going to start with a big long rebuttal, but this isn't the gotcha you think it is. I got for it. Oh, how cute. Okay. See, Katie Joy got her stuff from Kiwi Farms. Okay. Um, yeah, she still has, well, last I've seen anyways, I cannot pull up Kiwi Farms at the moment on any domain. Um, I'm, sh it, but this is all brand new. Like I said, like the, the one domain that it's supposed to work on, um, it's not coming up as error or like site doesn't exist or whatever. You know, it, it's coming up. It's just, it's not responding. So uh, within 24 hours, that could change. Um, I tried this on tour too. I couldn't find it. I don't know what she's talking about on the dark web because I haven't found it on the dark web either. I'm not exactly a pro, but searching the dark web. So um, I have a scan and so I2P or something. I used to be able to access. I've done that though in years. So I'm not sure. But anyways, yes. She absolutely did get her start at Kiwi Farms. And let me show you, because there is still a record of this online. Yeah, it's funny how that happens. Um, now, this is all I could find in the moment. So I searched for Kiwi or Katie Joy Kiwi Farms. And I came up and, and then I searched the images um, or I switched it over to images. And I got a few here. <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Annie, you are you are all of our heroes, like are all of ours hero, I think, or whatever. But yes, you are our hero. So Annie here posted this. Uh, thanks for thinking and tagging this account. Katie Joy Paulson tried to say she didn't use Kiwi Farms as a source. Five minutes of Googling found three pages of posts that were obviously without a crystal ball. Without a crystal ball did admit, though, about going incognito. Seems KGP had a mixed reaction. Um, now, I can't access. I couldn't access this actual tweet, I don't think. But right here, this is her without a crystal ball. That's her username on the site. It's from 2019, it looks like, February 27, 2019. This is when she was writing about the Schofield kids. And these I can't see because they're so small, but yeah, there's that one. Um, This one I can't see anything on, okay. Here we go. Right here, these are all of her like comments and posts listed right here. 11 days after saying she rarely posts at Kiwi Farms without a crystal ball, made 17 wouldn't all fit in the shot of her 53 total posts, about one third overall, during a two week period, logged on these one more time in the following six weeks. No, I've not been on kiwi farms in a long time and don't add them to articles i have family sources and michael i'm not under any obligation to disclose any of my confidential sources here she is over here to the side right here kiwi farms this is her profile see right there without a crystal ball hey guys this is april what 23rd 2018 hey guys 
I see you talking about me. Here's the thing. I didn't get his channel shut down. I just know the people that did. That's it. I wrote an article and did a stream to my YouTube account, which upset Danny. This is a, the Danny Glass, or I think that was his name. I have covered him multiple times on my column without a crystal ball. I know some of you will be skeptical of me, which is fine, but this is my full-time job. I write about a ton of things, not just Danny, Jilly, or the Schofields. I did use Kiwi Farms for help on the Schofield article. Beyond that, I do most of my research online through interviews and by watching videos by the people in question. Right here, without a crystal ball. Oh, look, a little blue check mark she has on the site there. Patheos columnist. Hmm, Kiwi Farms on that. Um, this article, and say, so weird seeing us mentioned in an article where we're not. I don't know. It's the most vile thing to exist on the internet. I'm also in complete agreement with everyone saying the less likes argued now. Okay, I can't read all that. Oh, and then right here, you aren't all vile. And no matter what, everyone here wants these kids to be safe and away from Susan. Yeah, how about that shit? Oh, these posts here on the side, 17 posts at Kiwi Farms from 713 2019 to 813. Or 731 2019 to 813 2019. So what's that? Like three years ago she was using it. And she used to use the site a lot for everything. And then this one. Oh. Oh, here we go. This right. I forgot I took the screenshot. Hey there. I'm hoping to write an article about her abuse of the children. I would love any help. Post whatever, February 27, 2019 for form Lola Cows. Horror Cow, Susan Schofield Cabana, Corey Cabana, and Michael Schofield, Schofield Productions, and whatever that is. Hey, guys, I'm new here. I was going to go incognito. I figured to be transparent. I'm a writer for Patheos, and I cover women like Susan that are abusing their children. I'm wondering if anyone is willing to provide me with some insight so I can put together an accurate story I've watched. And yeah, it goes on. So, yeah. Yep. Where am I going? Where am I going? Um, so yeah, she wants to demonize this website that she got her start on, that she was a regular on, that she found sources for on the Schofield kids. In fact, it's been argued that her source was the father of the Schofield kids, and that that's where she met him was on the site. Um, she then tried to use the site for other things, including Sophie Long. Um, uh, she posted about Tati on there. In fact, she started a thread on there where she named Tati Tanya Cravens or whatever. It was the name of the thread. Um, so, yeah. And once the site is up, assuming it will be up, that will be all accessible again. Like, all of it. So, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. She wants to demonize the site. And, yeah, that may all be, well, be true and everything. But be transparent about it. You know, and, like... I'm pointing out here. Let me show this again. Oh, I, did I close it out? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Shit, damn it. Um, oh, cool. I'm still saying it. Awesome. So, like I was showing... <laughs> oh my god. Kind of surprised my comment wasn't deleted yet. It's weird. But whatever. Um So as I was showing here, Scarlett writes, Sev severely not surprised that they slid into the depths. Probably think they belong there as the dark web was initially set up as the here's where you go to be sneaky area of the internet. <laughs> Unfortunately, this won't, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm trying to picture that as like a, a tagline for the dark web. Here's where you go to be sneaky. Like that just sounds so vanilla, doesn't it? 
for the dark web. Unfortunately, this won't change Kiwi Farms much other than anyone wanting to access it will need Tor and the exact steps into it, which might, which might dissuade some of the more moderate people from accessing. Dude, it, any idiot can learn how to use Tor. Like, serious, it's stupid easy. Um, on the other hand, it'll probably dissuade some of the more moderate people from accessing and creating a massive echo chamber there where things will snowball. The kind of People who access Kiwi Farms are the kind of people who have access to the dark web. Anyway, incels and neckbeards, I imagine. Um, I think they, she means incels, but okay. And I just find it funny that people want to talk, that here, her followers, her man is demonizing Kiwi Farms. And I mean, they, they may be, I'm not arguing that, okay? It's a shit site. There's no moderation. There never has been, really. So I get that. But that's, but then to just demon anyone who used it when Katie got her start there. Like she was on that site like constantly. Like I, I want to say that she's where I learned about the fucking site. Honestly, I never even heard of Kiwi Farms. I thought it was like a like a New Zealand night or something when I first heard the name. Whatever. So yeah, there's that. I really don't have anything else planned. But I can. I can go find you. Yeah, I know. I got the new URL. It's um, kiwifarms.top, T-O-P, but it's not working. Me, myself, and Mandy says the site is up, just a different URL. Um, I hate peas. No. I do too. Well, if they're cooked, I hate them. Yeah, I haven't. Andy hasn't been around like a super lot, like that I've seen, anyways. But she still, she still pops in every now and then. Sorry for the train. It's loud. I know. I know. I know. Um. Oh, I know. I can share this. This is interesting. So. Eventually, <laughs> Katie Joy ended up getting her own local thread on Kiwi Farms. So I think she started hating the site. Um, there's also another site, though, called lolcow.farm right here. And she has her own little page or whatever on here. And here, um, actually here, do this. Okay. At some point, KJ uses Kiwi Farms as her as a source for her, her info. They denied it. This is her. Yeah, the archive co copy. It's not even there. I, I tried pulling it up. I can't pull it up. What is it mentioned again? Kiwi Farms. Here we go. The girl's actually a huge calm surprise. It took this long for her to have a thread. I really saw her antics firsthand. Schofield Farms, where she got way too personally involved with the subjects. Just she has with the Teen Mom cast. That was written two years ago. So, yeah, this is an interesting site, though. Like, it just documents, like, much of Katie up until, I think, up until the Toddy website or whatever. Or Toddy uh, lawsuit. Oh, look at this. When was this? May 14, 2020, lock work, old debunked drama resurfaces, and people are trying to hack into my Instagram. Wow. For those worried, I have obtained new legal counsel. I have no idea. Oh, I think that was about the harassment from the group, probably. I don't know. Um, uh, when she was going to sue Charles World. <laughs> I hate when someone says they are a friend, promise they like you, and stab you in the back. Uh -huh. Mm 
what? Oh, this is when she claimed to have lost her hair over um, the stocking or whatever. She also blamed it on COVID, like before COVID was a thing really in the United States much. Um, she also blamed it on dyeing her hair. I forget what else she blamed it on. There's quite a few things she blamed it on. <laughs> okay, and that's about her her I don't want to get into the shit with her kid. I don't. Oh, here we go. She's in my account. If this account comments you under one of my tweets, please report her. She's asking people to report a Twitter account for tweeting. Yeah. Janelle, Janelle, though this is what she thought it was Janelle. Janelle violated the terms of service of Twitter by spamming my comments and has done so since last June. Using the reply feature to spam or harass is prohibited on Twitter. Like, where does it say that in the terms of service? Like, seriously? Because, like, if she has the block, you can't see it. So is she saying you can't talk to anyone else on my thread because it's my thread and I have you blocked? No. That's not how it works. All these accounts are run by one person. Chanel, her Twitter is public, so it's not doxing. But here you go. Most of these parody accounts are all her. Oh, boy. I forgot who she was suing that time. My attorney has advised me that I can share small portions of the cease and desist letters I received under fair use. I will share a few of the things that were said. I don't know which one that was. See, when I first seen this, I thought it was kind of bullshit. I thought, really, is she really like collecting email addresses or whatever? But now, I, yeah, I think that that's exactly what she was doing. Um, Amy has warned nothing. B. Joey Paulson, an email to enter the gift card giveaway. It is a trap. Please retweet. He says, please remove this now. We would never break the law. It's against the law to use anyone's information the way you are looking. It's against the law to sell email addresses? Really? Are you shitting me? Mmm. Taking a long weekend, the amount of going is too much. I now understand why other YouTubers have either attempted this or have succeeded with this. I've never said I need to say. I will never satisfy anyone with my answers. Every day something I do is twisted and turned into a conspiracy that it isn't. I'm not interested in being of a unity that seeks to destroy others. Oh, my God. I don't need to answer to anyone other than myself, my legal team, my family. So, uh, you're right, you don't. Okay. So, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. I Like I said, I really didn't have anything else planned. Okay, who do we have here in chat? Hey, Sue. Hey, Dirty Uncle Sal. Hey, Beth. Hey, F Bear, Angel and Angel. That's interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're autistic shell. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Why do you have a wrench? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? IP2. Thank you. Um, hey, Liz. 
Let me go through this real quick. Grace Case. Um, Dragon of Fire. That is a cool name. Um, punch or peach punch. Yeah, thank you. By the way, I I P two. Yep. <laughs> and like I said, it's been years since I accessed the dark web that way. Michigan wifey. I hate peas. Oh, cheap glass. What's up, Lissy? Lindsay K Case. Um, and Maloney. Rack Serenity. Victoria. All right. I think that's it for now. So, yeah, Kiwi Farms is kind of like, um, like a 4chan, um, but it's, <coughs> I forgot on like the, what is it, the, um, the Gossip Factory, is that what it's called, I think, that's a forum just for talking shit about, like, people in the public eye one way or the other, whether it be an actress or usually like YouTubers and shit like that. Like there's a big section on that. Um, so Kiwi Farms is like that, but one that's completely unmoderated, like, like 4chan is more moderated than Kiwi Farms was. And I admit, you know, I, obviously it was an issue when it wasn't moderated, not having it moderated and shit. Um, 4chan is, it's like a Reddit, but <laughs> completely anonymous. Like on Reddit, you can sure you can be any one you want or whatever, any account. But you can either keep the same account, or um, I don't. I'm not sure how to explain it. It's just completely anonymous, and a lot of bullshit gets said on there. But 14 does get moderated somewhat. Like if there's any CP or whatever found in there, it gets removed and shit. Um, HM was supposed to be the same way, but I guess maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure. I, I only went on HM like a couple of times and, and it's just like another 4chan to me, whatever. Um but so Kiwi Farms was just it was a, a message board forum, whatever, for lull cows, they called them. Um basically they posted about lull cows and information about him and stuff. And they targeted a lot of people and stuff from what I see. I wasn't on there a whole lot. Mostly any time I went on there was to look at each other shit. That's what I, why I went on there. Oh yeah, that was the lovecow.farm. Steve, that's who did that was um, Creepshow Art. That wasn't um, Kiwi Farms. That was lol cow. Okay. Give me a second here. I will pull it up. I will pull it up. Where's the name? Lol cow dot farm. That was the name of that. <coughs> See here. <coughs> See, I can show you this too. I'm not pulling up. I don't think I'm going to pull up every individual picture or whatever, but doing, this is the Google search. I did W-O-A-C-B Kiwi Farms and then images and all this comes up and you can see here the, the websites, kiwifarms.net, kiwifarms.net. She was all over that, but this for granted is people posting about her for the most part, but there's a lot of her posting on there too. Like that's where I found the images, like this one here I was showing. That's where I found these. It's really place I find like no proof of that but I'm sure that there's more maybe even archived I don't know but I haven't really checked the archive yet mostly because I didn't know the name of her exact URL on Kiwi Farms but I think I'm able to find it here maybe I don't know maybe not I 
don't know what the hell that world was. Um... Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I think it would have been kiwifarms.net backslash without a crystal ball, maybe. Or would it be user? Like, how do they list? How did they list user on there? I don't have it on the stand very well, so I think I'll remove the stand. Yeah, right there. Now, try not to knock it off the fucking table. Okay, without a crystal ball. Air 418, I am a teapot. <laughs> All right, so if I did this and then went on to way back. Nope, okay. I don't know. Oh, not that way either. I don't know. I'm sure it was saved somewhere. In the archive it. I'll find it somehow. She would be filed under the beauty blogger section. <coughs> and, um, no, I'm trying to find her user account on um, Kiwi Farms. You know, like on Reddit, for example, like, you know, she'd be like uh, reddit.com backslash you backslash without a crystal ball. Um, well, and Kiwi Farms would be kiwifarms.net backslash maybe you backslash without a crystal ball or maybe just dot com or dot net backslash without a crystal ball. I don't know. I'll call us directions to find Kiwi Farms current. Oh, really? Really? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. So let me do this. Um, I don't see, I, I see something from eight days ago. Um, the Kiwi strikes back. Seven days ago. I'm only at three days ago. It's like I'm scrolling forever. Two days ago. One day ago. I'm not seeing anything. 
I mean, one day ago, it was still available on the Russian web, Russian, do, Russian domain. Um, up to the top here. Onion farms. Oh, what is this? Let me check chat here. I actually came from your last vid to this live. I am trying to process the plan for two weeks stream. I have, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it. Have you had time to digest? Um, yeah, see, here's the thing. I found that, or I had, I was sent these screenshots months ago, um, right way back when Irish and I had our falling out because of the screenshots. Um, so I seen, I read them. It just didn't dawn on me. It didn't click in my head for like the longest time. And like, it probably was just a couple months ago, like it really kind of clicked in my head and I said something to Tina about it. But um, really though, I think just last night going over it, it just really fucking hit home with me, you know? Like the fuckery they really tried. It's crazy. Um, Yeah, this is just a forum about kiwi farms. Onion farms. Um, what is that fucking? Why is it taking so long to load? I don't know. I, I don't think this is going to help me with anything. I don't know. Let me just go back to chat here, see if it, you can give me any more advice here. <laughs> Hang in a sec. I'll see if I can grab it. Okay, cool. If you do, just send it to me um, on Twitter, and um, I'll grab it from there. So for people who don't know what it is, me, myself, and Mandy were just talking about, let me go ahead and share it for you. Um, where's it? Was it July? I said I was. Oh, God. July, July, July. There we go. Okay. Pretty sure that's it. Yep. Okay. So I was talking about how, um, how full of shit Unirock is. And, you know, I think everyone's seen that after seeing him on Molly Go Lightly's stream there and then seeing how, like, he went back to his channel there and just talked mad shit. But was as nice as could be to them in person. Well, I was reminded of this here. And this screenshot was sent to me from someone in Unirock server. This is from his server. This is months ago. I, I'll have to look to see exactly how long ago, but it was months ago. So um, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we're, we were talking about. It says here, Aaron repeats the same narrative Nat put out. That K video with KJ and Nat last year was planned two weeks beforehand. And get this, it was all planned by Uni and KJ. Yeah, and this isn't even the first thing, place where it's mentioned. It was also mentioned on Twitter. I, it's going to take me a couple minutes to find that screenshot. So I'm not going to go and do it now because it really will take a few minutes. Um but yeah, this is one comment to that. <laughs> and like, we all kind of suspected that, you know, that it was planned. It was a setup or whatever. Um, what got, what got us talk, me talking about it though this morning? Oh, that's right. I got talking about how Unirock has done this shit before, tried to set people up with 
crimes, basically. You know, like he's trying to do with Molly and Justin over this whole, um, like, scamming or whatever, fraud raiser and shit. Like, they tried to do the same shit to Steve, to myself, to Tina, um, to Dottie. She was involved. She was wrapped up in that, too, for most of it. But, like, the emails... And, and I had shared, I've shared these a few times on, on the on the channel. Where this came from, what they're trying to use as proof is, and these were verified emails between Katie and Nat. Um, Nat was telling Katie how Steve messaged her on Instagram and it threatened her and that was behind all this and did all this horrible shit or whatever. So and Katie's like, oh, well, let me see the messages. And Nat's like, oh, I don't have the messages anymore. I deleted them. You know, I deleted the thread. Yeah, I can't pull them up. Katie's like, well, what account was it? So this was all done through email, mind you. They're back and forth. So then they took a screenshot of, she had Steve blocked on Instagram at the time, but she took a screenshot of it and emailed it to Katie. Katie says, well, unblock them and then take another screenshot and send it to me so I can compare the number of followers. So she did. Katie's like, yep, yep, that's his account. Oh my God, he's behind it all. He's behind this. And then they went on K Baxter streams running with the same fucking bullshit story about how... Um, how Steve's behind it all. It's been verified. The only thing she fucking verified is that Nat knows how to find an account. Just look up at someone's account on Instagram and take a screenshot. Oh, and block and unblock. That's what was verified. Because there were no messages. There's no, nothing to compare it to. Oh, that's right. I also scared scre shared screenshots of two comments from my, my channel, both by Menace to Sobriety, where he, he kind of told two different stories. Um, let me see here. Can I pull those? I don't think I can pull those up. I think those are right up here. Here we go. Yeah, I'll do this real quick. So there is this one from eight months ago. Um, Katie said she verified the account Nat implicated was Steve's Instagram account. That's what she claimed in that video. Okay. And then, and I mind you, I just took these screenshots like last week. So that was that long ago. And then this is three months ago. He says, and yes, during a time when so many accounts were faked, people cross-referenced the followers on the Instagram account to ensure that the account Nat alleged was speaking to her with Steve. So is it people that cross-referenced this? And, and what the fuck did they cross-reference it with? They didn't have the messages. They didn't have anything to cross-reference it with. What did they cross-reference it with? And now, was it people or was it Katie that did this? Make up your mind, dude. You're so full of shit. Anyways, yeah, so that's it. Let me go back here. Let me see. I saw your face and your expression when it hit you, the reality of the planning of that stream, and you looked 1,000% upset about it through the screen. Yeah, because it did. It that hit me like like that was planned. Like they plotted for two fucking weeks on bullshit information. And they planned it to unleash this all in the manner in which they did on someone's stream. Whether or not Kay was a part of it, I don't know. I don't see how she can miss something like that. And I don't trust her for shit. I mean she's full of shit. But I don't know. I got nothing pointing saying that she knew about it whatever. But yeah, two fucking weeks, Katie and Uni Rock, through their hate, their vindictiveness, their butt hurt, planned and plotted this whole elaborate story to blame Steve, to blame me, to blame Tina for all things Nat, even the creation of the CP. I mean, if they had been more successful at this a little over a year ago, our lives would be totally different today, like not in a good way. So I wonder what it is they have in store for Justin and Molly and Letitia for that matter, because they're not done. I don't think they're. Um, let me check my Twitter. I have Twitter pulled up. 
I really do want to pull up her fucking Kiwi Farms activity because there's some, there's a lot of shit. All right, I gotta respond to the end of the stream. So, yeah, there's all that. And apparently, Katie does not have a thread and onion farms. Sorry, I'm, I'm seeing comments or shit messages and shit sent to me just now. I'm reading them. I'm being rude and ignoring you all so I can read my fucking messenger. Uh, see, uh, I don't know. Uh, I could go through the emails between her and that. Well, I mean, my... Might as well, since I did all the other shit. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to take me too long to find them. I don't even remember where I put them. Desktop, maybe? <sighs> I don't care about that. Fiction. Group. Um... Kind. Yeah, who the fuck knows where I put it. So anyways, yeah, that's pretty much all I have planned for today. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to drop the link. And if anyone wants to come up, feel free. There we go. It's pinned. It's pinned. Um, I have to say, too, I noticed that I had quite, I've been seeing quite a few more of Unirox people in my live chats <laughs> or just around. And I want to say that you are all welcomed. Um, so glad to see you because, you know, Unirox, I know, kind of pretty much upset other people there. Oh, that's right. I did make a video. I haven't put it up, though. Um, me air it.
Why is it taking so long to send? Oh, there it goes, sent. Okay. So let me put this over here. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I, I will probably at some point. And it's not going to go there. It's not going to drop there, is it? You motherfucker. Really? Why won't it do that? Why can't I drop it there? Oh, that's fine. Why isn't it coming up? There we go. Okay. So, okay. Now, before this plays, although it's going to start any second now, I think. Okay. So, let me explain what this is because <laughs> I didn't do an intro or anything yet for that. So, um, Justice for All on his other channel. Touch Them Pearls, I think is the name. He did a live stream where he was, and, and part of it, he was talking about tweet by Michelle Sabat. And I couldn't help but to notice this tweet that started it all, where it started what he was talking about, and that was a tweet by T. Spiracy. And so this afternoon, T. Spiracy did a live stream where she was discussing this. Only she came in, I noticed she was talking like in defense of Justin, but I don't think she realizes exactly what it is she did when she started the whole, the whole, um, the whole mood for that conversation. Like she set the tone and Michelle obliged and obviously took it fucking 10 steps higher, you know, as Michelle does. So I put this little video together. Let me check the chat here real quick. Ever heard of a user named Chicken Cakes? Um, I don't know. Maybe. It does kind of sound familiar, but I don't know. So anyways, let me go ahead and play this. It's only like two minutes long. All disgusting. Should have been swallowed. Waste. Oh. See, and this is right here. This is from AZ Stream this afternoon. Okay. This is exactly... It's not edited or anything. It just starts and it plays and then it stops. Nothing in between is edited. This is the case that I'm going to disgusting. Should have been swallowed. Waste of H2O. Trying to mend fences with the Molly Go Light. I did speed. Now he. I will speed it up though in a second. You'll see. He's making dollars off two dead people in three months. And to think he has children. He needs the full sex change because he's really a inch for the cat, which is pussy. Well, Justin, if it makes you feel any better, I'm a fat bitch, so I mean, <laughs> you really can't. Like, I hope that he's not like bothered by these people. Like, as much as I disagree with what he did, nobody deserves to be spoken to like that, um, ever, especially uh, over this. Like, that's mean. That's mean. <laughs> like, that's really mean. I might have froze him on uh, an unfavorable screenshot, but I would never like say something like that. A lot is awful. Yeah, people coming from his side calling me fat, telling me go to gym. I'm like, okay. I'm like, you must not know about my yoga swing because I can lift my body weight. I'd like to see you do that with your fucking uh, Mountain Dew and your Doritos from your mom's basement. Like, shut up, you know? But yeah, that, that's what's... Now, why is it T-Spiracy is only showing her audience the bottom half of the screenshot? Now, for granted, she's pulling it from Justin's live stream. But I'm pretty sure that in Justin's live stream, he showed the screenshot in its entirety, including the top tweet. And hmm, who was it that made that tweet? Oh, that's right. It was T-Spiracy. Now, what is it that that tweet said? Hmm, let's see. 
nothing but fair to Michelle. And I was actually surprised she would say this about me. And I, and Michelle says, he's a POS vile, disgusting. As you can see from the part of Justin's live stream I just showed you, as well as the screenshot sitting in front of you, Keith Beersy's tweet went on to say, Molly Lightly's little butt buddy has a channel and use Photoshop filters, et cetera, et cetera. Now, why is it that Keith Beersy is referring to Justin as anyone's butt buddy? Now, anytime I have ever heard the term butt buddy, it was used in a derogatory manner, a way in which to insult someone's relationship with another person by insinuating it is one of homosexual nature. So why is it? that this is the term that t Spiracy chooses to refer to Justin in regard to Justin and Molly. Hmm, to me, that sounds a little homophobic. Furthermore, why is it that she's also then trying to hide this from her audience as she shows part of Justin's live stream? She skips right over the portion of the live stream in which he shows her tweet. Seems like she's trying to hide this from her audience. Now, what is it t Spiracy says? Oh, that's right, own thy nasty. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. That kind of bothered me when I seen that. Wait, remove. There we go. Okay. And then it just and and to just have it be ignored and not get acknowledged or whatever. I don't know. It bothers me. Like you can brag and so, or you can even criticize someone without throwing out terms like that. You know, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. See, I don't even care about the picture. I don't care. I like it's to me, that's not even the whole issue. It's the way in which this is going about, like the way this is being handled. Like Julie, okay, like Julie being in the live stream chat and then up on panel, she gave her opinion. She gave her opinion, but that wasn't obviously Justin didn't agree with her opinion. Okay, so you agree to disagree. You did your part, whatever, move on. But no, she wanted to keep arguing about it. It was crazy. And yeah, I mean, why is it that they're all like, who was it that even started that rumor or whatever about um, how he must be into all, like all that nasty ass shit or whatever because of the picture? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was someone from Uni Rock Circle. Hmm. Yes, pulling our reports are fine, Holy Spackle, when you're proving that the police officer did his job and how and why he did his job. That is absolutely fair game, especially when that person went public with all the information themselves. How quickly we forget. So here, let me put it in the chat here to remind everyone what it is Katie said and put out there. Since Holy Spackle teams, it's so important to talk about this yet a fucking again. Jesus Christ, you're like obsessed with R, aren't you? It's fucking gross at this point. But here, let me pull this up for you and share the link. This is what I'm going to do every time Holy Spackle, one of her ilk, want to come around and start dropping this shit, okay? I'm going to just keep reminding everyone what it is Katie Joy said and did. That's what I'm going to do. Come on. My computer is so slow. Yes, and in here, in this Google Drive link I'm about to share, you will find all the posts that I collected. Like everything in this folder is what I sent to the police department. That's, that's what you'll find. You'll find the live streams that Katie did where she disparaged this officer and told all that bullshit. You will find all the posts that she has done, how she outed everyone, how she... Yeah, she fucking outed everyone. Which is, I mean, as far as the person it is, the person she's accusing, I don't give a shit about that, whatever. But my whole thing was the officer. So yeah, when someone's lying about a um, victim's advocate in such a manner because she's just upset because things didn't go her way, then yeah, that person, that advocate deserves to have someone come to their defense because they can't do it. They're obligated. They're bound by ethics. They can't do it themselves. They don't have a voice. So yeah, I opted, I nominated myself to be that voice because no one else was fucking doing it. So here we go. Here's the link if anyone wants to check it out. And you can thank Holy Spackle for this shit. Thanks, Holy Spackle.
what it, wow I don't even know how your mind works, how you get to that point about HIPAA, negative about your doctor. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, I imagine if you start telling all kinds of bold-faced lies like that about your doctor, yeah, I would think someone could come to your defense. I'm not quite sure how, though, because you can't really exact, like submit a FOIA request for um, the doctor's notes because, you know, like you said, HIPAA. So, yeah. I'm sick. See a therapist. Okay. I'll get right on that. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, Holy Spackle. I had the link there. Why don't you grab it? Why don't you come on up? Why don't you come on up and talk to me? Okay, you're more than welcome to. Now, who, what's up with this other account? I don't know who that is. Um, Jack, no, that's not Speckle's point. I, Bless your heart, though. Um, and no, I couldn't have gotten that outcome because it was only it was only applying for the report that I learned information and that that led actually Katie learning about what I did. That led to Katie finally filing this this complaint against this detective, which led to the department investigating his actions way back in 2007 when, you know, this, when she was saying that this all happened. And it was upon them reviewing all the evidence, which was the, re the recording of the interview, which ca where Katie says that all this shit happened. It was upon reviewing that, that the department quickly determined her claims to be unfounded. So yeah, I couldn't have gotten the same result without going that route. Okay, thank you, Rose. Awesome. I'll check them out. <laughs> um, I'm trying to mod here the chat with you guys, but I'm not seeing anything really come up at this point. I, just, I think they may have left or something. I don't know. Which is all good. All good. I, I didn't I honestly expect anyone to take the, the link there. I mean... You mean I miss Letitia's condition? I don't understand. She has a condition. Yeah, she tried, Katie had tried running this whole narrative that the reason why her case wasn't prosecuted is because the detective didn't believe her. The detective called her a liar. The detective said that she was a jealous girl or whatever who didn't get a phone number. Um, the detective berated her, quote, berated her for over two hours to the point to, to the point where she was in tears. Um, so, yeah, that's not what happened, though. The reason why it wasn't prosecuted um, is because there, there wasn't enough evidence. And in fact, the, when the forensics came back, it kind of, it didn't support her version of events. Um, and that's not to say that her version isn't true or accurate. That's not what I'm saying. But that's just what the forensics showed. So they wouldn't have prosecuted something that was, you know, uh, so unlikely. Hey! Hi! Hi, I I didn't Yay. send it the right way. I don't. I like when you send it to me uh, from Facebook because then I can get my avatar and everything. But I, I oh, just okay. had to jump on because I'm like so sick of the bullying. Like, why do you have to go to somebody's stream that you don't like just to bully and harass them relentlessly? Mm -hmm. Like, when do we do and that to anybody? 
I don't do it to Katie. I don't do it to uni. I don't do it to anybody. Why? Why? Just why? Yeah. I don't it makes know. It I, unenjoyable. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, <laughs> it just about does. Yeah. Um, and I, I was talking about this in my stream that I did at like 5 a.m. this morning, but like I was talking about Julie Virgo and I was saying how it seems like anytime I've like gone to war, war with someone, Julie was always like on the other side, which is fine. It's, it's not even like that. But I think that that's because the other side was always the side that was actively trying to come at someone, to hate someone with this moral authority, um, trying to cancel someone to get them deplatformed. Like that's what the other side has always done. And it seems like there's a group of people who live for that. Like that's Dude, the it's hate always the same. thing on here. It's yeah. always the same group of people. If you mm -hmm. sit back and pay attention and you're not involved in any of it and you realize like it's the same group of people involved in the drama every single time. Yeah. Every time. Like when I was looking at um, Justin's chat there from Justice Justice for All um, on his other channel, Clutches and Pearls, when Julie Virgo was up trying, you know, give him shit about this picture or whatever, I look at the chat and there's CJ. I see Kay Baxter in the fucking chat, you know? And it's like, oh, it, it is. It's the same group of people. And they all seem to have found a home there in Unirock's server and Unirock's live stream chat. I mean, some of them even have wrenches. Like T-Spiracy right. is a fucking wrench. You know, of course they do. Of course they do. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. It's crazy. I'm oh, so yeah, this tired is... of it. What's Sorry. funny is I really do think that they've all they've all come. <laughs> you know, my my whole theory, I believe they've all been here from the gate working with Katie because, you know, you don't you even if I, I fall out with somebody. Right. Say I fall out with somebody. I've fallen out with a few creators. Everybody knows I fell out with Little Red. I do not go around and bash her. I do not go into her live chat and I don't want any harm to come to her. I want her to be happy, joyous and free, right? Like I don't mm -hmm. wish any ill will. I don't nothing. But these people seem to uh, be the complete opposite of that. Like they don't have their own life or something. So they have to stop mm -hmm. bully, harass and constantly talk about us. I haven't yep. been live with you in how long? I, I And they're still while. talking about me, right? They're still yeah. tweeting about me. I'm co I might comment about him if somebody posts something, but I'm on a locked account. I'm not commenting to cause them harm. If they happen to see it, they're stalking me. If they happen to get screenshots from people, People want to cro cause problems. It's none of their business what I say. I'm on a locked account. I'm not trying to cause them harm. I don't yeah. see it that way from them, right? Yeah. Like in, like you're saying, like, I'm sitting over here on my channel. I'm not bothering anyone. Once in a while, maybe I'll reply to a tweet. Usually when I'm tagged in it, though, for some fucking reason. Um, but even then, I'm not coming at anyone. But here are the ears. Holy speckle back in the in the chat. Only now she's starting fights with other chat members like negative exponents here. I know I'm seeing. But the, she won't take a link. Okay, um, by well, the way, we're not holy speckle, we're not Steve. <laughs> Steve can do what he wants. That's his thing. Mm -hmm. Why are we being held accountable for what somebody else does? I do not uh have any nothing i didn't watch it i don't know what he said i wasn't involved in it why are you coming here and involving us in it yeah it's not us it's... we're separate because we're friends with steve that's why you're doing it but it's separate mm -hmm. if it I'm never so stops tired of seeing them bully you i'm so oh. tired of it holy speckle if it never stops then just go away you don't have to sit here and witness it if it never fucking stops. You seem to be right. subjecting yourself to this shit that never fucking stops. Go someplace else then. You You're, know what's funny is I leave. have not I have not spoke hardly at all in months. I don't go to live chats. I don't watch oh. live videos because I get too upset. Right? Um, I get angry. And that doesn't serve me. So the Holy Spackle wants to join us now. Okay. okay. Let's go. Okay. I specifically hey joined because I really wanted to talk to Tina. I've never gotten a chance to talk to you. And I just wanted to ask you really quick, how come 
people can't criticize Aaron or show up in chats with Aaron or clip Aaron or, or, or it lulls a little bit in her chat as, as we do, or call her to the carpet on things that we think that are not right. But you and others every day go against Katie and pull out all of Katie's wrongdoings or sometimes just nitpick her for no reason. And that's somehow different and not bullying. But it what is. what I do it is bullying. Please explain why I'm here's, curious. Here's the thing. We're not in Katie's chat. We're not in her I, fucking chat. I don't comment behind a block. I have Katie block. Katie has me block from what I understand. I do not comment behind a block. I do not go and try to cause her harm. I do not do the things that other people are doing. You're here. If you want to have a conversation, have a conversation, right? Like we're all adults. Have a conversation. I respect that you came on. You want to have a conversation. Cool. But why go in the chat and bombard the chat and go after people and cause discourse? Why do that? All it does is upset people. Why don't you go somewhere where you're celebrated? And go where, where you're celebrated. People? Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. What, and you have a you bingo like card. What, the hell, what, what, into, is, what does that mean? I don't go into Uni Rocks chat. I That's don't what watch she says him. a lot. I so? do. And I mean it. Like, I don't go to, I don't go and give somebody a view that I don't like. I don't go and go on uni. You know, I got blocked on uni rocks chat two years ago in 2000, the beginning of 2020 or the end of 2019. Why would I go watch him? He blocked me from speaking. He was talking about me and blocked me from speaking. What does that say to you? To me, it's very dishonest, disingenuous. It's pushing a narrative. What so, kind of narrative? Whatever it is, whatever you think, he said about me. Do you me, think he's, he's paid by Katie? Man. I what? Do you think he's paid by Katie? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, there's what do you think he makes? of Todd saying that he's paid. I don't know what he makes. I don't know how he affords to live. I don't know how he affords to obsess about Steve twenty four seven. I don't know. I know that I'm not involved with him. <laughs> I don't watch him. I don't listen to him. I don't get clips about him. I don't typically get screenshots about him. I don't care because he's dishonest. He has lied about me mm -hmm. over and over and over. He called me an old man, mm -hmm. a dirty old man. Obviously, I'm not an old man, right? Like, I've proven that. The I don't know how you identify, channel, but I assume female, and I could be wrong. But I, I am a female. I, that's okay. how I identify. I identify but, as a female. They is acceptable. I'll take it. I'll, I'll own it. I don't care. But but she, myself. So, okay. Well, anyway, the only reason I started a channel is because Unirock spewed his lies about me. And when I figured out that all he wanted from me was to talk about him so he could have content, I quit talking about him. I don't pay him any attention right? Katie's a little different because I, I've had some serious issues. I've had real life consequences with Katie Can, over lies. I've been trying to understand you particularly. And I think that's why I jumped in really more than anything is I wanted to know, I, I get to hear a little bit of why Suzanne's so mad at Katie, but I don't understand how come you're so upset at Katie, particularly Tina. I'm just, I just, I wondered I, why. I'm not necessarily upset at Katie. I don't like what Katie represents. I don't like that Katie causes harm to other people on her platform. I don't think it's okay. And the fact that she's had these lawsuits, regardless of anything, she has uh, accused people. Recently, Dre McRae of murdering her husband, who is still alive. That is not okay with me. That's unacceptable, and it goes against so much on the platform. Like, imagine if she did that to you or to one of your family members. How would you feel? Those children of Dre McRae's and Marvon McRae's are going to see that one day. Is that acceptable to you? Well, I don't think uh, people should speculate on that sort of thing. Um, I think Katie I think Katie over over deserves again. deserves criticism. I just think the amount that she's covered is is like excessive. Like I wonder why you don't oh. rotate through like Molly go lightly. She's worth well, covering. Well, I've, I've looked at Molly, but here's the thing: I don't care about this anymore. Like you don't see me around. 
I came, Erin was live. I come on if she's live every now and then. I don't like seeing the bullying in the chat. It's not okay. I don't do it. You might have heard all these narratives about me, all these lies, all these everything. I don't do probably 99.9% .9 of the shit that I have been accused of. I don't hate Katie. I dislike her ways. She's not just done it to Dre McRae. She did it to Todd Chrisley. She did it to uh, Toddy Westbrook. She's done it to 7M. I just posted a video of her accusing them of murdering people or basically saying that, you know, she doesn't have proof of it yet, but she believes that they're capable of running people off the road and, you know, her life is in danger and other people's lives are in danger. That's crazy to me. So I have criticized her. I've tried to hold her accountable to get her to see that the way that she goes about things, when you do and accuse people of stuff, she accused Aaron and, and I of having something to do with manufacturing child CP. I won't say it even out loud. Like I'm she, so she disgusted named by you it. guys particularly. Yes, she did with yes. no evidence, none, none, no evidence. How would you feel? If somebody accused you of that with no evidence, and then you oh, drop, you I'd, I'd, be, I'd be really upset. I'd be up, so upset about that. I would not allow the person that actually did the CP in my live chat going forward. And I wouldn't downplay the CP either. That would be really upsetting. Yeah, but who's done that? Yeah, I who haven't said let that? anybody in my live I chat. Didn't I haven't even died in my live chat. I oh, really, on Twitter. really when did I didn't fucking downplay a thing. I was sharing. You said it wasn't that stream. bad. It no, wasn't, it wasn't, but I, it's not. I didn't say it wasn't that bad. What I did in a live stream of mine is I shared what someone had said to me. I shared a conversation. That's all. About her and own the, experience. Let me point that yes, out. Yes, about Aaron. my own personal experience. How I described it to, to this retired attorney and he was talking to me about it. And I shared the conversation. That's all I fucking did. And I even said, I can't talk or attest to what anyone else received because I haven't seen that. I'm only talking about what I received. What kind of attorney was it? Was it a criminal attorney or a civil it, attorney federal. or probate? It was a federal what, attorney. Why does that matter? Um, the point is she wasn't talking because about expertise. anybody else's. She wasn't talking no. about anybody else's experience except for her own. You can't attest mm -hmm. to something that you never saw. Right. I would hope that nobody but an attorney or a law enforcement person ever saw anything that anybody else got. Right. And like, I didn't show in my show that I didn't share that with anybody. Aaron didn't. Yeah, I didn't show it to the attorney either. I explained to him. Well, yeah, then you would be in possession, like. right? You can't but, uh, you can't do that. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah providing yeah, this is that's how what her it own was. children. Yeah. But, yes. Exactly. Yeah. And and I explained to him exactly like how it was orchestrated, like whatever, like how it looks like um, just someone took a picture, like cut out a picture of my kid's head and put it on another picture. I don't, I don't want to know the details. Whatever. I think it's all horrific, no matter how it's done. It's oh, all, I didn't say it. I didn't say it yeah. wasn't. And neither yeah. did the attorney. The attorney didn't say it wasn't horrific. No one said it wasn't yeah. horrific. I'm talking about when it comes to the law. And I'm telling what the attorney told me in regard to the law. That's it. And in regard to what, to I got. what but you don't want to hear got. that though. Only you don't want to fucking hear that though, because you, I've said this over and over again. But you don't want to fucking hear it because it doesn't align with your narrative, okay? Because you want to keep running the story or painting me in this bad light for whatever reason. Like I don't even know what the fuck your problem is with me, but whatever, okay? So, truth be damned, though, right? Let's talk I about. Mean, can I, Aaron? Can I really quick? talk with holy spackle about i want to talk about sure. um talk about the, gonna, essay, the essay report i want to talk about that really quick okay because i want to give my perspective i'm going to put if i put it, if i mute I'm it's because i still have bronchitis one second i'm going to put me on mute for a second i'm going to just run inside and grab something real quick and i'll be okay. right out i can perfect. still listen though i can still listen per perfect okay so as far as the essay report, right, take the report out of it. The point was that Katie accused, did you see the video where Katie accused the police officer of doing certain things, of yelling at her and telling her she was a liar 
and all that. Did you watch those videos? Yes, I did. Okay. So this police officer that works for this police department, she blasted the department. She blasted the officer all over social media to almost 200,000 subs, right? Um, other women or, or anybody that is violated in that way and if they had seen that might have taken it that they couldn't trust the police department might have taken it that they couldn't report the crime right um this officer did not do it was proven that he did not do what she claimed he did so she went after an innocent man and she pushed a narrative about him that could hurt him, not only hurt him in his job, could hurt him in his life and could hurt other victims who would be too scared to come forward if something happened because they believed what she said. Now, the, the department did an investigation because of all of this, because of Aaron's stream. Katie went to them and, and they ended up doing an investigation and the detective was cleared of it. Do you think that him being cleared made a difference in his life and might have made a difference in victims' lives who might have been too scared to come to that police department because they heard the story from Katie Joy? Can you repeat your last sentence? It was a question and I just want to make sure I'm charitable and understand it. Oh my God. I'm not going to remember it. You guys in the chat, what did I just say? Well, I can repeat what my brain's leading up to like it. That. So, so you're basically, it, let me know it. You can stop me if you think I'm uncharitable to you. If I, if you think I am, I'm going to rephrase as active listening, what you're telling me and you let me know if I'm getting it wrong. Okay. Okay. Um, and if I, if I act all Cali style casual, it's because that, that, I'm, I'm that way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so Katie is upset. She's blasting the police department and she's blasting this particular police officer because she feels that she's been violated in some way, that she's had a horrible experience, you know, that she's been mistreated, et cetera. Um, and if I'm understanding your logic, um, the reason why this had to be investigated was because it causes distrust of both police officers, the cop that actually handled her interview, and then also of the system and the police department. Is that right? Correct. Okay. And I want then, to know really quick. Can I ask a question really quick? Yes, please. So you saw the videos that she did about it. Did you see all her tweets, all her posts that she did about it? So I am a little ADHD. So what I do is I gather a lot of information and that hard drive that was linked to me by EKC, I did go through it and read. So I probably read all the tweets at one point. Oh, okay. Can I, I recall just know them verbatim or anything like that? No, but I, I, they're fiery. They're fiery. I just wanted to know if you had the full picture, right? I, I wanted you and everybody else in the chat to know. I'm trying I, to like. I think I do uh, because I, okay. at the time when I first looked into this, I actually wanted to understand why Aaron would do that. Um, but also, um, I mean, I obviously have my own bias. It's clear. I, I, I think we're all, I think we can all agree that we as human beings do not have freedom from bias and freedom from our gut instinct and our, in our own perceptions. So I, I obviously have my own bias to, to deal with, but my understanding is that because uh, Katie joy was blasting the cops and possibly in your opinion, maybe an innocent one. Accusing him of crimes, basically. Of, of mishandling her case and being um, uh, dismissive and maybe even um, rude and awful to her. Um, it is it in the long term, her telling that story and that perception that you believe is untrue is hurting 
other victims because they are going to have a built-in distrust of uh, police officers and a bad system built in place, and particularly that police department. Am I am That I wrong? absolutely can handle, but if you take it a, a step further, okay, and you think about the things that Katie said, she basically made it seem as if this the man that she accused now i don't know if he did it i don't know if he's guilty or innocent i don't care she made it seem as if his family was a very powerful family in the community and that um you know they had the police in their pocket if you will now she made a lot of claims basically right she she wrote the story so if you if you just take a couple pieces here and there it probably doesn't look as bad but if you put them all together the police officer could have lost his job you know he's been a i, I don't remember how long he had worked for the police department it has been a career like he has been a, a public servant so he could have lost his job like his family could have been affected he could, he could have lost everything. It, it just goes so deep. And then if you think about how Katie runs her, you know, YouTube and the links that she goes to, to others and does the investigations of others, it's almost like it's okay for me, but not, not for thee. She's done way worse than Aaron talking about this. I believe this should have been talked about. I don't know that I would have done it the way it, I, it, the way it was done, but she needed to be called to task. She doesn't like criticism, period. It's okay for her, but it's not okay for anybody else. And real life people can pay the price of it. That's my whole point. So I, I have a question. Went to jail. I oh, go ahead. went to jail over her CP claims. Aaron could have went to jail. We could have went to jail. Do you think the justice system is that bad that they're not going to be able to get down to the bottom of who's actually distributing well, that and creating that? What Did about, they get down to it? Did the FBI I, get down to it? Well, they're working on it. They they have. It's um, taken a long time, right? Yeah, we should have ended up in jail while they and, all this time. And what about your TRO there, Tina? Yeah, my rights were already taken away from me. I was already silent. I didn't have anything to do with it. Why were you silent and again? I just because I had a TRO put on me by Katie Joy. How long was that, and when did it lift? It didn't lift. She dropped it. Katie dropped, she it. dropped it. She okay. she yes. claims now that she dropped it because I made a deal with her. I didn't make a deal. She offered me a ten year NDA, and I said fuck you. No, I'd rather go to court, have my day in court, because I know I'm innocent of everything she's claimed I've done. But why would she drop it? If she was scared for her and her family, why would she drop it? So I have a question about the, the police report thing. So so you believe that she would hurt uh, future victims because they would be afraid of the police department? Um, could, because yeah, they're mishandling, mistreating rape victims, not taking them seriously. Can I, can I add something to this? Can I add something oh. to this? At yeah. the time, on Katie's Facebook page, she was posting about this doll at the time. This is, in fact, you can see the posts and the, the, the link I shared. Um, there were people local to her commenting, believing her story. Her mom even commented. So this was this showed absolute promise of spreading throughout her local community there and the community in which this department serves. She's in a very small community, as she has said. So, so, okay. So I have a couple questions. One is sort of a, a thought experiment. Let's say, um, uh, Tina, oh, you God. go in for surgery and you have a doctor that you believe messed up. And you tell people on social media, this doctor messed up. This is my experience. This is this is my truth. This is this is my experience of what happened. This doctor didn't listen to me uh, before the pre-op. This doctor mistreated me. They messed up. I don't think I, my case was handled very well, blah, blah, blah. Um, do you think that could ruin a doctor's life? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What if it was true? What if it was true? 
what if it was true? But what if it no, but let's, wasn't? Let's make, this, let's make this comparison, though, an actual comparison. You're not just saying, hey, that he wasn't nice to me. Okay. By, by comparison, you would be saying that the doctor refused to do his job. The doctor refused to do the surgery. The doctor said that the patient deserved the whatever the ailment. In oh, which he did the had. surgery. And he then, messed it up. He, oh, he then, did the, the surgery. Then the doctor, he did the then points. The, then the doctor would be saying, and if you want to make this comparison accurate, the doctor would be saying, well, yeah, we well, you know what you deserve. It's your fault that I messed up. It's your, you deserved it. It's because you did X, Y, and Z that that happened. Okay. That would be in a, in a more accurate comparison, not just, oh, the doctor wasn't nice to you or the doctor doesn't believe he messed up or whatever. And this isn't about whether or not the detective messed up. So again, so, so Katie, it is. this would be, no, no, it's not. No, Katie is accusing this detective of purposely, of being corrupt, of being paid off or whatever, of being um, swayed by the power, the prestige, the influence of this man's family, the person that she was accusing. So this wouldn't be just a case of the doctor screwing up. This would be the case of the doctor refusing to do the job, going in there for the surgery and just saying, no. Nah, well, he did the job. Okay. He did the report, but we don't know the attitude the, which he did the, it. You're looking at how he the, filled in yeah, the, right. the checkpoints. You're right. He did. He did his job. But Katie was accusing him of not doing the job. And That's and, the point. And um, I think it's a very common experience for um, uh, people that have experienced SA or R um to be very jostled and upset and even right. if you are a kind cop you can still feel like it's cold and callous and cruel um and you could have a whole lot of feelings about that so let's say katie's okay, wrong no, but that's let's say katie's what, wrong and he's cold not, and he's callous and crude and he's yelling at me but he's not actually yelling is it still okay to be like katie i think you're a liar so i'm gonna pull your r report he wasn't just being callous and cold. According to Katie, he was berating her. He was blaming her. He was saying that she was a liar. He was saying that there's no way that this man could have done this because he comes from a good family with good prestige. He wouldn't be a part of something like that. So this isn't just him being callous and cold like I'm sure many law enforcement officials are. This was about him being corrupt and refusing to do the job and blaming the victim and berating the victim, according to Katie. There's a big difference there. And if that was the case, if it really was the case, Katie would have filed a report against him. We know Katie is very capable of going after people with the law. She would have done a report against him, even whatever. Why did she feel the need to disparage this man uh, and his career on social media? Why was it necessary? I mean, she... The same thing happened to the family, the man's family. She went after them and their businesses. Like she seriously caused these people harm. She said that they were behind it. It was their fault. Don't go to their businesses. She put their names out there, their business names out there. She, she went to an extent that didn't have to happen. And then... When in regard to the police department <laughs> in one of her videos, she was laughing at the end, how, saying how I tagged them on Twitter. <laughs> and then she starts laughing about it. It's so, not I mean, funny. You like, let them know. Is it they... better not to tag them? I, I mean, I don't oh know if you're going to talk smack, you know. But... File a report. Why not file a report? If you were right and there's a video of the, the thing oh, and yeah. what you were saying is correct. File a report and get the officer so, fired. So and Tina, the department. Tina and EKC, do you think that there's corruption in the police force? Oh, for the love of God! Just in general, do you think? What that does there, that have there, to do with anything? Do you think there's like a blue I, line where people kind of like? In general, I think that the police force general. is 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 held more accountable today than they were, you know, even two years ago. I think I don't it, think there's any room for them to fuck up anymore. Excuse my language. Well, they, they I, had quite I a backlog think, of our our reports and, and cases that were not were not gone through. Minnesota's known to have they weren't some tested. They weren't tested. And Katie's wasn't one of those in backlog. Hers wasn't going to be tested. Hers was because, before that, before they no, even discovered no, hers hers wouldn't have been was that tested. 2007? It's why Hers wouldn't have been tested. And in fact, when they did re they readdressed her case or whatever, and they still didn't see a need to test it because there was no dispute whether or not the relations took place or not. 
So what would be the point of fucking testing it? So yeah, there's that. So I don't. It shows that they have the a habit of mishandling these cases. Oh, it really? This, yes. this, this how many this years have this happened? Tell happen, me, tell Aaron. me, tell me where this happened. Tell me how this this detective, how this department has such this hor horrible history. And it, like to answer your question about corruption, you I will didn't find come corruption. in prepared, but, you but there are some articles about that. Yes, uh, yeah, if you look up the Minnesota Minnesota issues. State Minnesota State. Okay. That's the state this, that yes that they yes, reside exactly. in. Yes, So Dang. as so I was saying, again, like it's it's a problematic issue that apparently goes across. I'd like to answer your question. State. I'd like to answer your question. Um, as mm -hmm. far as corruption goes, I think much like in anywhere else in life, you will find corruption wherever you find humans. Yeah, that's gonna happen. But as far as police department in general no i don't think all police departments or in general are corrupt i think there is corruption in law enforcement like anywhere else any other profession but that doesn't matter we're talking about this specific department this community this detective this is all i'm talking about i don't care to talk about any others why try why wait that many years to destroy this person's life yeah this the only reason why she filed a report is because she got mad she got mad what do you mean your narrative is narrative? that she's doing it just to destroy people's life, but people, well, people she's, have a lot of strong like. feelings about, you can say the same thing about every child that comes forward and says like, this happened to me when I was an altar boy or whatever. Like, like there's a reason why people hold on to this. They do think the system doesn't oh work. God. They do. Oh they are afraid to report it. And if it's date rape, heaven forbid you report that. How do you prove that? Like, like, like the only it's, reason it's easier why she to prove filed, like a rando and an assault, but it is a lot harder to prove a date. Really? Rate. Like, but she didn't file a report. She didn't file a report until 2020. And she only filed it after she got pissed off that I, I had a FOIA request granted. That's when she finally filed. I'd be pissed against off about that too. Like the fact is like, if Tina What's has a complaint law, about, I mean, about her surgeon and how he performed his, his surgery on her. It's not my duty to be able to pull that off. Luckily, we have laws in place that keep people like EKC from pulling medical reports. Thank goodness. Because who knows what happened reports. then? You know, really? like, oh, like, Ooh, like, there, that? No, no, no. Like, I want like, to talk to HIPAA, that. What do you mean? We can what prevent would, that. What would happen? But unfortunately, there's a loophole that happen? allows you to pull a police report of an R What report. would happen? What would happen? frightening. What would happen? Dude, it's crazy. Would, you can't put yourself in this person's shoes. You I'm putting myself in difference. the person's shoes who, who comes in and has R actually happen to them is in a cold and horrible situation where they have to be like going through it. Years they later? are traumatized. They're traumatized in the later. situation. And they feel like they're not being listened to. Maybe they have some macho swaggering cop that's like, hey, I just oh. know everything. And they have this experience where they have their own feelings of, of being traumatized and then also dealing with somebody that that is not empathetic or they don't feel as empathetic on top of it and the and the, the general coldness of the system i feel like that that is a lot to contend with so There's yes years later after a traumatic event people years with later, ptsd and cptsd they do address it later that's not uncommon. i talk can I fucking talk here? Yeah. She didn't address it th then, 2007. She didn't address it five years later. She addressed it 13 years later when she went on this whole like tour or whatever of talking about her story, of putting it out there, laughing about it and everything, about how people are getting all this shit now with social media because of her. Okay. This is when she talked about it. She didn't file a report until, I don't know, until after she got mad about the FOIA request being granted. When she realized that the shit that she was saying was... She, fuck people are looking into it okay so yeah up until that point it was just her telling her story for whatever reason getting sympathy or whatever it is she wanted i don't care i don't it just doesn't matter to me but she didn't make it real with the officer until she felt she had to and then when the department investigated and listened to the recording of their interview from 2007 they quickly determined her claims to be unfounded so
it's amazing how the police department always comes up with that. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the oh my it's God. unfounded. It's unfounded. It's so, just, there show was me, no excessive Show me where this happens. Show me the pattern what, with, this, with this department. Show I, me the I'm not here to prove department. the truthiness show of me. their claim. What I'm here to do is defend an, our victims' feelings about how no, they are you're treated. Not. You're not. You're how not, they are no. treated in an investigation. This isn't And this to keep about people that. like you from going, oh, well, the thin blue line, I need to come, I need to protect all police officers because they surely don't have a union or representatives really? to do that. So I'm going to take it upon myself to put this on blast that, on YouTube. You know what? You. And you don't, don't care. You. you don't care I'm if a... you send that from four people to 400 people. You said you, you are, didn't you're care. Are she, she shit. You're just making up shit now. I literally people. am quoting you. You are literally making up shit right now, okay? I didn't say that I. It was my job to defend all police officers. It was I, like they did. Well, clearly, I'm hyperbolic a little bit there. Oh, yeah, you think that's my whole fucking point, okay? Let's stick listen. To improv. The okay, calm down. What? Let's bring it down Ooh, a notch. Improv. Why is it? Why? Okay? Why? Why, why do you like such that? a problem with my improv? Yeah. Why do you get to throw it insults like a fucking? Why be snarky? We're having a civil conversation what? right now. I want to no. know why the chat because I don't know what they're talking about. But everybody in the looked. chat keeps saying about uh, Katie pulling a child's medical records. Who are they talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, Sophie Long. Are Sophie they talking Long. about Sophie Long? Yeah, yeah okay. they're talking a tit for a tat situation. Yeah, um, and I don't agree uh, with that. But that's a bad the argument is, anyway. Like, if, yes, if she did that, child, call her out on that. She said call a her child on that. was a liar. Call like, her out okay on that. Like, it's okay for Absolutely. Katie, but it's not okay for call anybody else to do the same thing I'm not defending that. I'm not defending that. What I'm defending nor, is nor did I, generally nor women did, in particular who tell a story. And if somebody goes, I disbelieve it. And I want to defend a cop pulling the R report of all things. No, that's not what and happened. Bring oh it my up. God. You see what I mean? And you don't Katie know told her happened. story. Yeah, if you're you not don't, even bothering to learn the fucking how the things, how it all played out. You don't even care. I know your narrative. You're just, my near well, it's to consider and, and it's Tina's narrative, and which is Katie blasts the police. It causes it's me distrust. And my fucking actions. It's harming uh, victims. No, that's not what happened. They're that's afraid not, to that's go not forward. the narrative. I'm literally not going the narrative. through Tina's point. You literally don't know shit. You literally haven't even bothered to learn the specifics. Dude, how I, mean, I made a video. Feel, what did I get wrong? I interviewed on Uni's channel. I mean, what happened was. How would was, you feel if you were one of these people that Katie did this to? How would you feel if she defamed you in a way and and accused you of crimes and you didn't have a way to to defend yourself? How would you feel if she did that? Put yourself in victim's shoes. How do you think? I Sophie am putting Long myself in victim shoes in adult, this incident. And she sees all the stuff that Katie said about her. She called her a liar and a little brat. How Call her out on it. Feel? That's that's I, fair. I have, and I ended up I don't, with a TRO because I've I don't criticized care. her for her bad behavior. You have to understand that I don't have a problem with criticizing Katie when she does big fuck ups like that. What I, I do don't have a problem is of, of our victims in general. Okay, I've been an R victim. Okay, yeah. I have so been does, several does that, times so over. So why, why are you, you happily right? doing this that, then, Tina? That, does that I didn't you right? have anything to do with it. I'm discussing it with you, so, but I wasn't on that stream. I had nothing to do with it. Would you have talked Aaron Correct, out of Aaron? it? Correct, Aaron? Would you have talked you Aaron mean? out of it? She she didn't agree with me doing it. <laughs> okay, good. I, I tried good to, to talk Aaron out of going on to that stream and doing it. Would have been better in a blog. Because it wouldn't have been taken out of context <laughs> like this. It would have been just the truth, right? What am I taking it would have out been just of about context? The officer. Listen, I'll, I'll rephrase this, you're what you told me. You're making it about something that it's not. Listen, you're making I, I'm it trying about to something say, other than telling. Saying I'm trying to tell an, you that there officer. is another perspective. And if you no, can I get heard your, your own bullshit. narrative, Listen, there might be another it, perspective, you have, Tina. You have to get the facts so first. You right. have to get, get it straight. This first. isn't. That's why I tried this to isn't ask a, you if you knew about everything. Sorry, this Aaron. isn't about Katie just not feeling like she was treated well or that she was hurt or that she was, I don't know, or that the, the officer was just mean or whatever. That's not what happened. But you keep trying to display it as, as such. It's not. She went what after we're an about. innocent family and their businesses. She went after an officer and his his job. She went after a police department. Like she lied. She accused the them. 
of of being negligent. She accused them of being purposely like hateful toward a victim, of refusing to do their job. Of being you know, there's a lot of our victims and SA victims that echo that same sentiment. You know that. Do I don't care. I don't. We're not talking family. about them. We're not talking How about that. It's just different because it's why don't lady. why don't you stick to this oh, person, this case, this instance? Just, why don't you just, try doing that? You're the one that are hopping all over the place. Like How I'm do you sticking think with it. it. How do you think the person that talking she about accused others of doing okay. this? How do you think their the family shit. felt when they got hundreds or thousands of messages from people on YouTube because she had disparaged them and said that they were involved and they paid off the police department and all this other shit? She went after an innocent family. You cannot convict a whole family for one person's crimes. You cannot do that. You guys pulled an R report where I victim's did, name you guys. is. I wasn't involved. Aaron pulled an R report where the victim's name is redacted, associated it with their name on YouTube. Like, did you did you see the Google Drive? Did you see that? It's like seriously. <laughs> Don't Obviously don't need not. that's a bullshit argument. That is a bullshit argument. Oh no, you outed Katie as the victim after Katie fucking went and outed herself on every platform for three fucking days on straight every and every form. Platform. It's the victim, it is the victim's prerogative exactly. to tell and the she, details that they want to tell. It's not your took, job. She took her prerogative and she did and so. And it's not your that's job all. to do that. I, I pulled people. from that. So how do you know they're innocent? You, innocent you, 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 okay. Well, for so one, a Tina, rapist, there's an assumption that Katie lies about rapist, all things. If a rapist rapes somebody, what? his whole family is guilty because he committed a crime. Is that what you're telling me? I would say if a arpist arps somebody and the family protected him knowing the truth as how do you for know instance a lot of about a lot of abuse you know? dynamics that happen how where there's an know? abuser and then someone how goes do no that didn't happen knew? uncle do, bill would never do that knew? to you uncle bill you father know? mcfeely you would never do that to you i know that father oh mcfeely God. is a holy man how do, do you know how do you know to the family she oh, everybody else around them she because she probably name. knew that she was angry. But here's the thing. Like, That's again, not a justification. It, you can't what's justify not a just, behavior like that. You can't justify angry. pulling an R report. You can't yes, justify you can. Oh, God. I'm yes, done, you can. I'm done. You can. I'm done. Yes, you can. I'm done. Yes, you can. You can. Yes, you can. Yes, you fucking can. You know, in fact, I didn't break a law. The law supported my having Yes. In fact, yes. You, you pointed out why they need to fix that. So how did you, how did why you get the case number? How did you get the case number? Oh, what did you like to know? Actually, did, Taylor, from discovery, did you get from discovery? I, I bet you got it from discovery. It. I get passionate discovery about of what? I bet listening. you know a person. Discovery of what? The, the, this never went to trial. What discovery? No, there was something else what that things were going into about? discovery. Did you get a hold of a what communication? How did about? you get the case number? How did you get the what case are you number? That's, about? that's how you pulled it. How no. did you get the case number? You know, it really is a stupid, ridiculous, benign, and perfectly legal no, and public way on how I got the case number. But because you guys, if you don't know how to do it, it you should look you. it up. Yeah. Look up how do you so, do a FOIA request? Go look it up. Yeah, in order to do it, you got rejected what three times, and you had to come two, up with two the times number, two times case number, two times. No, I had the case number all three times. So yeah, um, it was the way I was requesting the information. I was requesting it in incorrectly. It's, it's Hi, I'm a tricky. YouTuber. I think this other YouTuber is a liar, and I just want to put him on blast because I'm the victim. I Aaron, contacted Aaron, the family. Well, clearly, I that would have been would denied. I the family. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy accusation. So, so Aaron, no. I want to know. I want to oh, know. God. I want to know. Point on the doll where Katie hurt you. Oh, why? Why are you? Oh, God. How about why are, why Katie hurt? Hurt? Why are you like, so involved? I, why I are you so, I why why are Suzanne you? is so involved. I wonder why you okay, are so I'm involved. Okay, I'm done, Aaron. Katie, I'm done. This oh, is ridiculous. Okay, Katie went after Sophie Long, an innocent child, an innocent child, and said she was lying and called her a brat. An innocent child. It doesn't get any so, worse than so that. So, are you trying to tell me this is revenge? No, actually, not. no, not at all. Is this a tit for tat revenge? Katie no. did something I, like that, fact, so therefore fact, she deserves I this. Have, wow. I have constantly and emphatically stat, said that just because she did it does not make, that's not why I did it. I, I did it for my own reasons that had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not going to let somebody else's actions dictate my actions. 
So exactly. can I tell you we my feelings any, about we it? Were anything I don't like care. 80s, I don't give a shit your feelings about it. Because I think I think I charitably expressed back what Tina's argument was. So, so here's my argument. I think it's really hard for victims to come forward just in general. Just hear me out for a minute. No. Look at all the very hard. It's very hard for victims to come forward. For I'm one. Attention to the chat. Two, two, once they do come forward, it's a very shared experience that essay victims are victims are humiliated. They don't think it's actually going to work. They they feel okay, degraded already, this, and they go through the emotional components of trauma. It's not what this is about. Three, this is about Katie. Three, okay, after so going gonna, through that enough. hurdle, people are going... I'm sorry. I'm not going to... Aaron, read what, soul shine, read what soul shine says, because it's true. Where? EKC, yeah. how about the Duggar sister that KG, KJ blasted what their brother did to them as, as children? Children, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm muting your I microphone so... now. It's just I don't care. I'm not going to let you sit here and pull in all no, these ridiculous. No, I I let I let people, Tina tell Keep her narrative. No, you haven't. You haven't it's let I did, and, and I repeated it back to you. I asked you if it was charitable. You said yes. You so then I had questions, and now you're you yelling at me. You're, you haven't. So, uh, you haven't so, let either of us talk. You have just sat here and tried to dominate the conversation with your own. Um, I don't know, snarky little attitude or whatever. And then oh, you're sitting here saying, I'm where sorry. tell me show me where in the doll Katie hurt you. Listen, like, Cirque how the face. old are you? Listen, wow, listen, Cirque the face. I, I am wow. I am I am not snarky. Ow. I'm just improving. I'm just improving. Okay. Listen, y'all. Well, you dark. suck at it. Narrative. <laughs> Narrative. Narrative. Tina. Tina. Wow. Fuck that. All right, I kicked her. I don't give a shit. Good. Okay. I, I I don't have this is why I don't deal with any of them. They're fucking they uh, first off i didn't even have anything to do with it i didn't want you to do it the way you did oh, it but she she uh, wanted to I, get a feel for you tina she wanted to get a feel yeah for you. okay oh. hi brandon sorry i thought it I, 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 I should have the three of us well i gotta go and i gotta go my dude called in the middle of all that so i i gotta get off of here we're gonna have right. to do a stream soon all right i'll talk to you later bye yeah, a little, wow. I've been on for the past few minutes, and it's, yeah, the amount of deflection that was going on is, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. It was, it's crazy. Um, Now, see, before I let you on, because I see you back there, Um, because I do want to wrap this up soon, I want to just say a few things here. I understand how Katie may have felt or whatever, and, but here's the thing, though. Just because she assuming she was telling the truth just because she was an SA victim <laughs> doesn't give her the right doesn't give anyone no one has the right to spread those kinds of lies and defame a person a department and basically the people who serve a community in such a way or to defame victims advocates you don't get that right just because you're a victim and you're pissed off at the way your case went I get it I can emphasize with being pissed off but that doesn't give you the right to cause other victims and cause that harm it just doesn't and that's the bottom line it didn't give katie the right to do that so she can holy spackler can sit there and say that i'm harming a victim or i'm harming victims or whatever i don't think so i tr truly and firmly believe that i was thinking of victims potential victims and future victims in that community when i did what i did okay because it's ultimately that department that team of law enforcement, those advocates that they will be reporting to. So that's who they need to have trust in. That was who, who I was thinking of. Not someone who was a victim 13 years ago, which I don't mean to sound callous there, but I'm thinking about today's victims, tomorrow's victims, okay? Yeah. Bottom line, I don't care. <laughs> fuck to... Fuck holy spackle, really. Like, she just, she doesn't, know, she doesn't want to fucking have a grown-up conversation either with the way she talks she has to over talk she has to make snarky little insults and remarks or whatever you know fucking grow up and yeah, this is, yeah yeah this is also this isn't the first time katie's done something like this though That's right it's not it's not it's oh, not Steve. well hey perfect. brandon yeah this brandon you can see timing. Yeah, yeah I mean, I might have one or two things like if, if Aaron is so gracious enough to allow me to. Yeah, um, wow. first, can I say I want to say my Beavers unit, thank you for the super chat. Um, knock knock, who's there? Daisy, Daisy, me, Roman, 
Sorry. Um, wow. I just, I missed all these. Wow. This stream was going one more, one more, one more. Um, my beavers unit, KJ simp, LOL. Listen, Linda, listen, dull. <laughs> okay. You guys can talk. I have another one, okay. but I got to find well, it first. Well, first, I love your hairstyle. Don't change that. That that looks. I don't know what you did. It looks different. It looks good. I didn't do it. I didn't do my hair. That's well, leave it like did. that. No. Yeah. yeah. So less yeah. is less is better. Okay. So and don't <laughs> yep. sue me for harassment. Okay, please. Um, <laughs> okay. So you know, people need to realize a couple things. Even if somebody is a victim of something, it doesn't give them the right to make other victims. You right. can have pain in your own life that doesn't give you the right to make everybody else miserable. Whether whether Katie mm -hmm. had been art or not, and I'm just going to say it. The word is rape. Okay. <laughs> we shouldn't I mean, look. You don't give a shit whether you okay. need. Have, I mean, it's straight up. That's the fucking word. And there's a reason why that word it fills people with such vile because it's a horrific fucking word. And it's being it used. Is. It's being used as a weapon by people like the Holy Spackle. So even if Katie yes. was raped or not, that's my other point. That doesn't matter for her to give any. It doesn't give her the right to make this police officer a victim. It doesn't give her the right to make me a victim because she falsely accused mm -hmm. me. It doesn't give her right to make Aaron a victim or Tina a victim. That's the point that Tolian Spackle cannot understand because she doesn't want to understand. Her whole stick online is to go yep. into hangouts and just get people upset. But I was laughing the entire time because she made a fool of herself. And I kept saying, this is what she does. So I applaud what you did, uh, EKC. You stood up for a victim, a real victim. And that was yeah. a police officer. And I will stand by you on that. Yeah, and he was a victim who didn't have a voice because he was bound by professional ethics. He couldn't speak out in defense of himself. He couldn't speak out against the claims Katie was making. Exactly. Yep. You were his voice. You were his advocate. How could that not be applauded? No matter what happened with Katie. Uh, and by the way, it's, it's kind of funny that they do have alternate facts, right? Like, oh, why wasn't mm -hmm. the rape kit tested? Well, because they both had agreed they had sex. And back then, they just didn't need to do it because that's exactly. what determined whether they had sex or not. It was already, it would have been, you know, useless time and resources for the lab that's why that's why yeah but instead though they they use it as an argument and like oh it's just be, it's because of the it was, it was a fucked up state and everything they had all this backlog or whatever and that may be true i'm not saying it's not but that wasn't the case with katie right right yeah and yeah. so so that's that's the, that's the point uh you know I, I i just wanted to say that i'm grateful that you had this hangout because people got to see the real holy smackle i mean you saw how she was at the end she broke character <laughs> Yeah. And can I just say, can I just say, um, like I had not initiated any conversation about this since like it, it happened back in 2020. Okay. But it's these people who won't shut the fuck up about it. And you notice how she came in here in the chat and boom, right away. Oh, like pulling someone's R report. So no one's even talking about that, but she pulls it up. Why? Because she's using the crime of R to make her argument for her. Right. She's exploiting that fucking shit. Okay. And how, I'm sorry. That's okay. How is yep. that thinking of victims? It's not. That's her using fucking victims, using the crime, using the, it's, it's the trauma called. This is, yeah. It's evil. Fuck this is what you. social paths do because they don't care. They don't look at it from an empathy point of view. Do you think that the questions she asked you really, she gave, gave a crap about the answers? She wasn't answering she, any questions. She was sea lioning. She, and she was doing the whole, was it the false comparison thing or whatever? Yeah, like the whole the uh, doctor cool thing or whatever? Like, no, you'd make it fucking accurate, okay? Yeah. Because this yeah. wasn't the case of a police officer just not being very good at his job or not caring right. or whatever. That was being deliberately fucking negligent and corrupt. It was lying about him. Straight up lying. What, what, what mm -hmm. are the word to be used for that? Yeah, I don't even know this holy special person, but it seems like she wasn't even trying to interact with the individual case. She kept trying to go to generalities, in my opinion. You, you might have remembered yeah, her as she was, moderate. Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. She used to go by, this is not doxing, she, but she used to go by the moderate C word. <laughs> no, that, uh, yeah, moderate C uh, word. She was, she was, a great, she wow. was in the great debate community. She was a G plus before it got defunct. So she was a moderator in my, in my GDC. Mm. Okay, so I've known so her six like, years. So so I, I definitely super, know about her. So, thank you so much for the super chat, One Warped Angel. After all that, you deserve so much more. Please know I stand behind you. And thank you so much for the super chat. Where'd it go? Why don't I see it? There's a yellow one. Where'd it go? Okay, there it is. Um, what was it? Um, I can't read that. Island Mama, I think. You did the right thing sending Spackle to the void. <laughs> thank you. Listen, okay, was, Spackle was calm and respectful. While Tina was yelling at her. Do they not understand what sea lining is? Do they not understand what trolling is to, to elicit a response? This is what I'm saying. These, these people that follow 
Katie Joy and Uni and all those other people, they have no critical thinking skills whatsoever. None. They just don't. They, they're they into fallacies like too cool quay, what about ism, somebody said false equivalence, things of that nature. Yes, that's what they do because they don't care. Mm -hmm. All they want is a response. You know why they don't come to my channel any longer? They don't get a response because they're all blocked. I don't give a shit. I don't respond to any of them. I don't talk to any of them. I will never talk to them. That's why I didn't come in when they're here. See, <laughs> and there's a, like, I sh should have probably set it up a little bit better with Spackle, just like did the whole like muted microphone thing. So we each get a chance to talk because we were talking for each other, mostly me trying to get a word in edgewise. But, you know, and that's my issue though. No one gets heard. No, nothing gets said. Nothing gets heard. You know what I mean? By, by the other person or by the, the people listening, you know, and, and that will never be resolved. There will never be resolution so long well, as that's the case. But, but here's also the thing: you you weren't allowing her. You weren't you weren't forcing her to answer questions. You just allowed her to gish gallop, right? And gish galloping is when you move from one yeah, topic true. to another. And she just kept answering questions. She was shotgunning questions. This is a playbook that that side of the fence okay. uses because they can't have honest discourse. They get annihilated. Yeah. Yeah, and the whole like the defense or whatever like like oh well is there not corruption in the police force what does that do with anything that was a generality well, hey is, is the ukraine out. war moral or not what the hell is that going to do with what we're talking about <laughs> yeah it's but, but i mean yeah you, you yeah. i mean i could say you played into her a little bit but it was entertaining <laughs> and i think that everybody now can <laughs> safely say that what that yes holy spackle is a troll it, it, I mean, what else could it go from that? I mean, come on. So yeah, it was worth it. But I, I, I just think that anybody who has her on, you're just, you're just looking for mockery. That's all it's for. What did she say about your face, by the way? I missed the words she used. Like circus, or I can't remember exactly. Circus. I forget. Circus. So circus. Something like that. I don't even. Remember. I couldn't hear. So I'm after. You called me improv. She called me definitely improv. disparaging your looks. I know that. You mean a woman just heard another woman's looks? Oh, she just corrected it here in the chat. How yeah. nice of her. What, what, what do they call her? Circular face. Oh, circular. Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Circular face. Yeah, that's what. Circular so face. Circular so face. face. So, no, Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, okay. Cirque face. I like Cirque du Soleil. But in Cirque du Soleil face. Yeah. So basically she said you have a clown face. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Maybe because I wear makeup. Okay, so she's she's really supporting women's rights by insulting a woman. Okay, that works, I guess. Whatever, right? Wow, dude. I'll make fun of your face because you know I'm I'm I look the way I do, kind of thing. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yep. It's when you have nothing and else I to love, go I to personal attacks. I love how she's coming to all this aid and defense of Katie. But then like let's say that I was wrong by Katie. She's making a mockery of it by saying, Can you show me where on the doll Katie hurt you? Right. She doesn't well, care. What if Katie did hurt me. What the fuck yeah. is that about? What? Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, she, she, she never talks about Katie lying about people, you know, incessantly. she didn't talk. Did she ever say, oh, well, yeah, Katie filed three false TROs. Why'd she do that? Well, just got to ignore that. Yeah, she just, as soon as Katie, as soon as mm -hmm. Tina said that um, Katie dropped it, she kind of moved on from that shit. That's gish galloping. She doesn't want to see, yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. Fuck, man. I, I, I'm more, oh. I, you know, I, I, again, Please. Aaron can hold her own and so can Tina, but, you know, the f criticism that Tina has gotten by, by these oh. trolls, it's not just the wow. unfair. I just call it straight up evil. I mean, and no offense, Aaron, you kind of buy into this stuff and you kind of play with the trolls, and I get that. You, if you yeah. get burned, it's your thing because yeah. you play with fire. It's, Tina doesn't. It's entertaining. But... Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I'm cool with that. I have no. I, that's not an insult. That's not even an invective or a negative thing. But Tina doesn't. And we, if they still try to go after her, that's evil. Go after, go after Karen. She enjoys it for whatever reason. Okay, cool. But go after Tina. Oh, You're a piece of shit. See, CJ seems to think that I'm the only one exploiting trauma. Even though I never, I'm not the one who's mentioned this in like since 2020. But people keep fucking talking about it. They yeah. keep talking about it. Yeah, I'm, no, the, yeah, I'm the only yeah. one. Yeah, 700 whatever. Duggar videos. Okay, how, uh, how many videos? On, uh, you know. Uh, uh, it's like it's like these the, the trauma merchants are the ones that only talk about a topic because they find it to be lucrative. That's it. They don't talk about it because of any oh actual sense of moral or any kind of duty or responsibility. Uh, uh, Aaron did what she had to do with the police officer because she honestly and I too believe this one hundred percent. She honestly felt like that police officer okay. needed a voice, an advocate. That's it. It wasn't to to to, to exploit anything. That's the difference. 
Uh, these drum emotions don't actually want to help anybody. And by the way, do you do you notice all the trolls coming at once? It's like they all live in the same house or something. All his variations are the same theme, you know. Did, did you get uh, sh did you get uh, autistic trolls thing? Super chat. Are you frozen? Yeah, uh, frozen. Yeah, she's frozen. There you go. I'm okay. frozen. Okay, there you go. Did you get last oh, super chat? Wait. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, and by the way, who gets upset is not a an indicator who's telling the truth or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Hey, we kicked her out. Hey, Brandon, welcome to the new EKC People Suck channel. <laughs> We're gonna be playing games all day long. Oh wow! And, <laughs> I'm having pizza, and I might even have some whiskey because we got some oh. whiskey in the house now. Oh, I, yeah. damn! I wish I had some shit. So what you ran out? Yeah, I can so, run out of whiskey, man. I thought you always get that around. Uh, fuck, dude. I don't yeah, know. now that we've taken over yeah. the channel, um, okay. let's see here. Um, you want to turn it into a soft porn? We can do that. <laughs> 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 All right, let's ask some questions for the live chat. Okay. We're waiting while, while we're deciding whether we want to let uh, Aaron back in or not, you know? Yeah, because um, yeah, we, we definitely have control over that. Yeah. Hi, live chat. <laughs> so you guys, were you were Hello. you entertained? Were you entertained by the Holy Speckle coming oh in and make a total ass of herself by trying to defend the undefensible and by trying to troll every single mouse out there? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, well, she's you back. Guys robot voice. Uh -oh. You guys have a robot voice. How do you do? I. What? You you guys have robot voice. Am I the only one who hears it? Is do you guys hear it too in the chat? I have them what? muted for for a moment. I thought I did. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put them back on and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, and well, still... they choose to mute themselves. Is okay. there an echo? Yeah, well, you I guys still... need to leave and come back in or something. Right. Or oh, adjust yeah, your well, volume. Says, hold on. Now. Do something with your mic. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll leave. You too. Is it, was it just me? Because like all I heard, yeah, I you hear me right? Maybe robot. Okay. Is that better? Why is it robot? <laughs> Do you have it open twice? Um, wait, audio. Oh. <laughs> Speaker. It's not me. I don't think. What the fuck? No, it's a pop. How about now? No. Okay, thank you. Now, where'd it go? Where did it go? I don't know. If you hear Kano screaming in the background, oh, it's because oh, she has alcohol. It my, I got it. It's my speakers. Okay. It's my speakers. Okay. It's my head things. All right. I just I, I'd explain to people why Kano was screaming in the background. I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect them and reconnect them. I'll be back. All right. I think it's what it is. I don't know. I'll be right back. All right. Well, now that I have the channel back again, hey TK T King, member for 16 months. He says Aaron and Tina, love, love. Thank you for the uh the uh, message there, uh, T. King. Yes. And by the way, if you'd like to become a member of EKC People Suck channel, hit the join button below. You got a nice cool name like Son and, and Little Mousy Girl. Hi, Little Mousy Girl. You're awesome. Hi, Dirty Uncle Sal and Jamie all and better. all your cool people all out better. there. That all better. better. Yes. yes. Um, okay. Now, I missed a couple of things here. Um, okay. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the super chat. You worked hard for this. Enjoy from F bear. I shill an angel. Which you suffered through it. Yes. You suffered through it. And also, I think I saw a new member. Oh no. Okay. It's a member chat. Oh, I'm not on camera. Not. Fuck no. Have you seen the way I look today? Oh, wait, shoot. Did Aim Brandon come back? Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Oh, and just, just for clarity, <laughs> by the way, FYI, Cheap Glass Hello. is not Danny. That's not Danny Glass. People keep asking that. That's not Danny Glass. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't think it was. No, I didn't no. think it was. No. Mm. I did not think that was. All right. I'm going to wrap this up, though, because I think my neighbors are probably sick and tired of hearing me <laughs> yell at almost 9 p.m. here out on the porch. So... It was hilarious. It was fun. That was worth listening to. I don't, I, again, I hate anybody giving trolls airtime, but when they do and they, they just make themselves look so goddamn dumb, I do enjoy that. So that was, that was, that was worth watching. 
Yeah. Because it yeah. was kind of fun. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Yeah, it was kind of fun. I can't. You gonna do, are you going to do it again? Are you going to, are you going to, are you going to let, allow her back in again? Sure. Yeah. I have. To, I mean, I, these discussions, I mean, uh, they're not so much for me or for her. I think it's just it's for other people, too. So I, I'm more than happy to be a part of it. I do want to do the home unit mic thing, though, like I've, you know, I always mention. Um, I do think that might be important. But um, and there will never be resolution without discussion. So just mm -hmm. that's one thing uh Rennell would like you to join yeah. her on her stream tonight oh shoot that's right she messaged me i never got back to her yeah I'll, i'm gonna get back to her right now wait i'm curious about what molly is on about with lawsuits she's live at the moment i don't know um maybe check it out although Rennell's live stream starts in about half an hour so all right i'm gonna wrap this up so i can do what i gotta oh. do here and yep. i'm gonna move inside all so, right thank you aaron it's right. been a pleasure Thanks. thank you to all the people Thanks. watching bye-bye awesome bye. Bye. Bye.